what's up all so first of all thank you all for tuning in and have you subscribed yet no click the link below hit the subscribe button so you can follow me and get videos every weekend so i upload videos every weekend mostly on the saturday anywho let's just get into the video so today i'm coming to you guys with this bad boy oh, i almost let it fall down this bad boy here it's called i don't know if you guys can see it it's called the viva i might have been pronouncing it well the vivo book so the asus or the asus or the A whatever it's called but it's a notebook I will show you how this looks. Let me turn it this way. So this is it. And as you guys can see, it's my laptop I use already. So you can see I've already turned everything up and looks quite a nice lion you see there. <laughs> okay, I'm not trying to scare you guys, sorry. So this is how it looks like. The that's the front page and there you see the keyboard that's the little mouse and I quite think the white the mouse the the space they left you to make the mouse is quite a uh, it's quite good so the pros and cons about this laptop let's let's get into the pros first the best thing or the good thing I like about this laptop is the sound. You guys, the sound is amazing. And I'll definitely, let me log in and show you guys, like play a, vid a video or uh, just play something for you guys so you guys can see how the speakers work. The speakers are amazing. Like, wow, amazing. So, okay. Let me log in. Uh, I also have a very, very long password, which sometimes I forget. But okay, let me see if I can get you guys something to listen to. If my internet is working, of course. Okay. And also, guys, when it comes to fast internet you know i mean fast laptops you have these laptops that always are fast like with click and everything is smooth and stuff but this one doesn't have it like that way it's it's quite a little bit slow even though i don't even have much on it like i haven't saved that much on it maybe i have a couple of like two three videos no no videos i mean pictures but the storage yeah you can always buy extra stuff to uh, to boost it up for it to be a little bit faster but that's also one of the cons but like i said in the meantime i'm trying to go online to get you guys to listen to the system i mean to listen to the speakers like one of the best thing i love about this are the speakers like they are amazing because I used to I used to use this other laptop and the speaker is just way whack and if you guys want me to make a review of that laptop also but because that was my very first laptop so if you guys want me want me to make a review of that laptop leave the anyway let me look for a video for you guys so you guys can listen to what I'm trying to say it's the sound is amazing like love it okay let me see if i can find a video for you guys to to hear the sound of this laptop okay this is just some average music so you guys can just i just want you guys to hear the sound of With this laptop right and as you can see and this is not even 100% volume yet it's it's like on the halfway I don't know if you guys can see it but I'll just show you let me see if 
I can get this a little bit way more down so you guys can see what I'm talking about. You see? It's... When you're ready to go live, there's no need to mess with downloading and uploading and out. It's quite lightweight, it though. It's really light. You can put it in your bag, put it everywhere, and you're good to go. You guys here. Okay. You see? Told you. Love it also. The sound of this thing is just amazing. That is one of the pros on this laptop. But for so far. Anyway, this is my gem though. Okay, let me stop and just get back into the video girls. So it also has a it also have a front facing camera and the front facing camera it's there and yeah everybody knows these days every laptop comes with a front facing camera and the front facing camera well it's not bad but it's also not that good. It's just in between. It's just a front facing camera and it works fine. There's nothing uh, wrong with it. And also one of the pros I really like about this laptop is whenever you're using it and it gets overheated, it doesn't freeze because my previous laptop used to do that. It all, it just freeze and I have to put everything out, but this doesn't freeze. I, well, some couple of times I did hear the, you know, whenever it's it's about to freeze, you just hear this ding thing. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but that's, it's closely to the sound it makes whenever it's about to freeze. But of oh, this laptop and it's, it's actually like, it freezes for like, it doesn't really, really freeze, but it kind of freezes for like one, two seconds and then it get back to what it's doing so i really like that about this computer I so now that we've already talked about the pros let's get into the cons yes i am an honest person and i'm just going to give my honest review and this is my opinion so about this laptop the cons mm. The screen. The screen is not really a very nice thing to use. It's like, mm, it's an okay screen, like I said. It's it's okay. It does everything nice. But, you know, you're looking for the full AMOLED screen and, like, the HD. It's only HD. It doesn't have the 4K version on it and all those stuff. But, duh, it's a cheap thing. So, why, why does it has to have a 4K? 4K is definitely going to cost a little bit expensive. But, so that is what they mean about using it all day long. But, so far, we've got two cons and what else? It is a little bit slow. Yeah, that is one thing I noticed. But, and the storage also, it, it, it just get full, like, within a twinkle of an eye like i i save a couple of pictures or anything and then this thing just get full and then i can't i'm not able to um, save stuff on it so that's also a con and so far i have nothing else to say do i recommend this laptop one yes if you're a student like i am and you're looking for a very cheap laptop because this laptop is in the range between let me say a hundred to two hundred and eighty. I know for sure it's no way it's no way about three hundred euros. So I'm in the Netherlands, so definitely I bought them in a euro. So I think you can purchase this not more than two hundred and two hundred and eighty euros. So I'll leave the link. I'll leave every information the link um, down below, so you guys so you guys can see where to purchase it. And this was it about the Asus VivoBook E12. 
If you like my video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. What the heck, whatever. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.